So today we've got the best fitting bomber jackets for men in 2021. Let's get straight into it. So guys, the first jacket we've got is from Top Man, which is now part of ASOS. So this is in a size extra large, 34.99. It's actually a very nice fit in black. You can't go wrong with a black bomber jacket. I think it's a staple for every guy's wardrobe, but the fit feels actually very nice. And bomber jackets are gonna be a massive trend for this spring, summer. They're always a staple in my wardrobe. Like I do have so many in my wardrobe to choose from. And I love wearing them, probably my favorite type of jacket, but they're definitely gonna be a trend for this spring, summer. So make sure you've got at least one in your wardrobe, but yeah. Starting off with a very nice top man jacket, 34.99, not a bad price either, is it, to be honest? Yeah, very good fit. Easy to pair with loads of decent outfits as well. So the second jacket we've got guys is from Bershka. This one is only $22.99 and again in size extra large. It is a very, very nice fit. I think Bershka bomber jackets are some of my favorite. I've probably got in my wardrobe three or four from Bershka just because the fit is so nice and like $22.99, that is such a good price as well, isn't it? I haven't actually got a white one in my wardrobe but I think it'll be very nice for summer to pair with some like brighter outfits. It's a very good fit. 12 quid, 13 quid cheaper than the Top Man one. And I'd say it's a very similar quality as well. So yeah, a very nice jacket. So guys, the next jacket we've got is from Only and Sons. This one is in a size extra large again. And this one is actually quite a big fit. Like compared to the other two, sometimes you have to size up in brands, sometimes you have to stick true to size. Usually I'm a size large, but in certain brands for jackets, I'd like to go for an XL just because they, they come up quite short on my sleeves. But this one, it's actually very long in the sleeves and it's a little bit more of like a baggy, relaxed fit. So just depends what your sort of vibe is. I do prefer the fit of the Bershka one, a little bit tighter, not as loose through the arms and through the body. And with bomber jackets as well, guys, I never wear them zipped up. I always wear them open. I just think they look much better. I think that's how they're supposed to be worn, to be honest. You wear them open with a nice T-shirt, got a bit of a necklace on as well. I think it's a better fit. So if it's like a bit more of a slim fit, I prefer that. But it just depends on your sort of style and how you like to wear clothes. Like I'm not a bloody fashion expert. You can wear whatever you want, whatever makes you feel good. So if you want to wear a jacket that's a little bit baggier, then by all means wear a jacket that's a little bit baggier. You know what I mean? So this is the third one. Very nice jacket to be fair. Just a bit more of a relaxed fit. So just before we get onto the fourth jacket guys, we're having a release for Sulfate Clothing this Thursday at 8 p.m. The V1 Aura Joggers are back, which a lot of you have been asking for, to be honest. I know the V2 are absolutely amazing and I love them, but they have been made quite a bit shorter for shorter people. So if you're taller like me, if you're over six foot, six foot one, six foot two, or you just like joggers that have a bit more excess material, then the V1s are gonna be perfect for you. I'll put a picture on the screen of them here. And we're also bringing out a brand new pair of joggers as well, the performance joggers, which are like a polyester fit, which are gonna be perfect for playing football, going for runs, going to the gym. So yeah, 8 p.m. on Thursday, make sure you keep an eye out for that. So next up, we've got one from Jack and Jones. This one was 35 pounds, and again, it's in a size extra large. This out of them all is probably like the tightest fit, I'd say. Feels quite tight around like my shoulders, my arms, my chest, my back as well. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the fit of this one. Like, I prefer it to be a little bit slimmer, but not too tight where it's restricting your motion, do you know what I mean? Yeah. For 35 quid, I think the Top Man one is definitely better, and even the Bershka one as well. But I do like the colour of this one in like a khaki, military green. Yeah. So the last bomber jacket we've got guys is from River Island Man. This one was £28, and again it's in a size extra large. I do like the colour of this one though, you know. It's a very nice colour, isn't it? Like a brown, dark tan. I've not got a jacket this colour and I think it's very nice. It's like a neutral tone, isn't it? Earthy tone. Goes well with like white t-shirt, black t-shirt, grey. It's a very nice fit as well. The quality feels very good. Probably maybe the best quality here, you know. It does feel very, very good quality. Zip pockets on the side as well, which I'm a big fan of. Hmm. Very nice jacket. 
to be honest they're all nice jackets aren't they all fit within like a, a decent price range as well just depends what your sort of style is what fit you want and how much you want to spend so guys that's all the five jackets tried on i think my favorite one out of the five I'm gonna to have to give it to the Bershka one. That is top of the list. I absolutely love the bomber jackets in Bershka. I think the price is so good for what you get. $22.99, they've got loads of other colors on the website. Bershka and Pull and Bear, they're very similar in the jackets, in the bomber jackets especially. Um, but yeah, if I was gonna choose one, it would be the Bershka one. I think followed closely by, very close second by River Island. It's a very nice brown jacket, 28 quid. I think it was on sale. Yeah, they're my favourite two. I think my least favourite, probably the Jack and Jones and the Only and Sons, just because a bit of a different fit. One was too tight, one was a bit too loose for me. So it just depends what you're after. Everyone is different. So I'm going to link all the bomber jackets in the description. Go and check them out if you want to go and have a look down there, guys. But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And keep an eye out. 8 p.m. Thursday for the new Sulfit releases. V1 joggers are back. But that is it from me today. I'll catch you on the next one. See you later, guys. Mm -hmm.